Have you ever wondered how far you can get using only the starting pistol in every single Call of Duty Zombies game? That's what I'm going to be doing today, and I'm going to be seeing how far I can get. But without further ado, let's get into the first game. On World at War, I don't see this going well at all. I mean, on most of the games, I don't see this going well at all. But World at War especially, game holds a special place in my heart. But it's old. The knifing in this game is literally broken. And if you get hit by a zombie, it's literally a black hole. I actually don't, I actually don't really know what my round goal is for this i mean realistically on round one i shouldn't be shooting at all but i already wasted some ammo also i should be letting the zombies in because i'm gonna need max ammo very bad but we're on to round two that's not round one and that's all that i care about i think at the point that we hit like black ops 3 it won't be that bad i mean even advanced warfare won't really be that bad oh my god we actually got an insta kill insta kill is huge because in advanced warfare we can pack a punch pretty early or not, whatever the fuck that game's pack punch is upgrade the whole upgrade system i actually have no idea where this last zombie is i hear him oh he just came in nope 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 there we go we're on to round three that's more than i can ask for in world at war I yeah i think advanced warfare will be our like first saving grace because the atlas has a decent amount of ammo and we can pack and, and we can pack a bunch of like relatively early and then black ops 3 obviously we start with the rk5 oh my god max ammo is huge now we need to start going for the dome bro we need to give these zombies dome yeah i said it i'm giving the zombies dome you guys got a problem with that huh huh you got a problem with that i'm like you watch me give the zombies dome See, look, you're watching. And in Black Ops 4, we start off with the Strife, so that won't be bad. Okay, we have this nuke here. Hopefully, we can get some zombies with it. I'm already, like, out of ammo on my 1911, which is not fun. But IW, we have the Kendall. I mean, hopefully, in IW, we can get the Kendall Pack-A-Punch. I don't know. I'm thinking too far ahead, because we wing it here, remember? I also have grenades. I you remember I have grenades. Let's use some on these assholes. Hee-hee, <laughs> you're little crawly boys. Oh, my God, insta-kill's huge. No, 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 don't lunge. Yeah, you can definitely still do this, like, knife trick on these zombies it's just like a little bit more finicky but it, it definitely works i think we actually cleared like most of the round is this it no there's still another one where is he uh my insta kills out nope don't lunge no okay we're still gonna lunge that's cool nope didn't nope don't don't nope don't do that don't do that okay he's gotta almost be dead okay he's dead i think it's just this guy okay he's dead on to round five you know i'm happy with round five on world at war also i know i could like leave spawn but like uh yeah actually let's make this easier for myself i'm gonna die this round now that i said that every time i say something like that i die i also have nothing else to spend my points on besides doors so i fucking sneezed and forgot to unpause the recording but we're on to round six i don't even know if you guys saw me get the max ammo but we got the max ammo we cruised through that round so I, I honestly think that's the last round we cruised through because we got no ammo in this zombies are starting to sprint they only have two grenades it's like this like actually might be wraps this round yeah oh, i'm gonna toss one hey i'm gonna hit myself oh god oh let me through let me through let me through okay toss another one don't hit myself this time Skirt through here. All right. Oh yeah, this is this is wraps, bro. Oh, I'm dead. I just insta died. All right, round six. I'm happy with round six. It was like, oh, did it, it, go do it. Do it yourself. I want to see the recorded footage. But that is World at War done, and now we're moving on to the next game. And now we're on to Black Ops One. And this game, a lot like World at War, I don't think is gonna go well. But we have quick revive this time. We have extra chances. Again, I definitely need to let the zombies in just so we can get drops. Because with these older games, our saving graces are gonna be the drops, and that is it. They're breaking in. Hey, look at that insta kill. I mean, it's round one, so that actually doesn't help at all. But hey, look at that. We got a drop. What was I saying? I was saying drops. What did we get? We got a drop. That's crazy, right? But we're on to round two. We're crazy. We're the best player ever. For these older games, as long as I can hit like round five, six, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm chilling. Also, with Black Ops 2, I'm not going to do like the go to the bank, get the Bowie knife. Like, when I was doing a melee only challenge, I felt like that that's a little bit more fair. If you call that cheating, I don't really give a shit. I'm going to be real. I also don't really know what map i want to play for black ops 2 because for these two the only like realistic ones that i could that i feel like i could do at least like semi well on are kino and knocked like Doris, yeah has pack bunch max ammo's amazing Ooh, why, why are we turning around why, why are we doing that oh there we go on to round four we're crazy we also still haven't used our quick revive but i feel like if i'm just playing it normally on black ops 2 any map could be equally shit you get what i'm saying i feel like any map could be equally shit i mean same kind of applies for these oh my god i actually just went down well, let's try and clear out some of them. I actually don't know how I just went down there. Oh, I didn't really want that new. But that end of the round, we're on to round five. Can I actually, can I get to power? Because if I can get to the, oh, I totally can get to the stage. Okay, open up out here. We can almost get Jug too. We're definitely going to have to like group up the zombies here though. Because I don't have Jug and knifing these zombies on round five without Jug is kind of scary. I can't even really lie. Also, I apologize. I am still stuffy as hell, bro. Like, 
allergies this season are hitting me like a goddamn freight train. Ouch. Okay, don't get... Oh, oh my god, you stupid bastards. I hate you. Stupid Nova Crawler, die. Okay, toss a grenade, toss another grenade. Oh, it's getting caught right there. Let's toss another grenade. Okay, I don't know how much is gonna help me because I also don't have my quick arrive. Oh, 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 get away, get away, get away. Regen, knife, knife. Oh my god, uh, knife. Okay, we can get Jug. Then we just need to get quick arrive again. But we're on around six and having Jug makes me feel so much safer. I feel like my best bet on Black Ops 2 is actually to play Town. Because then I have Pack Punch like right out the gate. Hopefully I can get Mustang and Sally. Bitch, knife, knife. Okay, let's not take too many hits. All right, I may have cut myself off here. Nope, never mind. I'm good. Holy Christ, Jesus. Okay, toss a grenade. Cut back over here. Excuse me, Nova Crawler. Toss another grenade. Toss another grenade. What's that? What's down there? I hear a drop. Uh, No, I'm not going to grab the nuke because I, I really, really need points. Knife, knife. If that was an insta-kill, that would be huge. On the bright side with using our knife, uh, the Nova Crawlers won't blow up. Depending on how many points we have at the end of this round, I actually don't know if I want to start saving up for Mustang and Sally. It's actually just going to depend on how many points we have. I mean, I could get quick revive and then start saving up too. Because this next round should be a dog round. There we go. Those are all dead. This insta-kill going into the dog round is actually going to be huge since we don't have any ammo. Grab quick revive. Okay, spawn these dogs very quickly. Oh, the insta-kill is going to run out. Well, let's try and use it at least once. Get one of these dogs dead. Hey, 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 I'm playing souls, bro. Hey, 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 Yeah, come on. Weave. Hey, 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 weave. Hey. That actually works. Okay, so as long as I don't play stupid, we should be able to get Mustang and Sally this round. And I mean, knowing my luck, I'm going to blow myself up, but we should be good. I just need to group these a-holes up so I can get collateral points, not waste a ton of ammo. Rut row raggy, not good. Okay, let's cut through here, even though that's not safe. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Grenade. Just going to toss random grenades and another one. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And toss another random grenade. Okay, we have enough points for Mustang and Sally. So let's start this link. Excuse me. Uh-oh. You're in an unfortunate spot. So are you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Go fuck yourself. Okay, I am not going back that way with the actual army of crawlers that is going to block me and cuck me. It's like, Mom, Mike, you either love it or you hate it. And in this case, I love it. But we get pack a punch. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stairs. Use a teleporter. Get pack a punch. And we're good. I didn't think Black Ops 1 was actually going to go that well. I mean, there's no saying that this is actually going to start going well. But at the same time, like, we got Mustang and Sally. We're already light years ahead of World at War. Ouch. And there we go. We're on to round nine. I'm going to be real. I didn't expect Black Ops 1 to go well. And we haven't even got, like, crazy drops. Am I actually just for once playing Black Ops 1 smart? Is that is that is that what this feels like? Being a smart little boy? Don't... I, I hate that I just called myself a little boy. I didn't say that. And now that we have Mustang and Sally, like, this actually is not going to be hard at all. Like, th the only thing that's really going to happen is we're going to blow ourselves up. That much I can see happening. Is it just this guy? No, there's also that Nova Crawler back there. Let's also grab Speed Cola just so we have it. Uh, double Tap really won't help us all that much. Speed Cola will. I don't even think I'm going to open up to Double Tap. I don't really need it. Excuse me. Also, let's save the ammo in our Mustangs and Sallys, even though this is going to take forever. There we go. And there we go. We're on to round 10. We hit double fucking digits. All right. We are in a little bit of a predicament here. Zombie spawns got a little weird. Okay, hold on. Doesn't even matter. Let's clear them out really quick and grab this nuke. Because, you know, we have Mustangs and Sallys, which are better than any wonder weapon in this game. Besides the Thunder Gun. Is there more spawning? Oh, there are more spawning. I was about to say, no way it's just these two, right? You now we just wait for the Nova Crawlers to get over here and we blow them all up. Yeah, I didn't think we were actually going to get to Mustangs and Sallys in any of the old games. You guys ready? Ready? 180. And that's round 11. We're comfortably in the double digits, bitches. Oh my god, and we got a free round because it's a dog round and I have little guns that shoot fucking missiles. Yeah, come on. The block is hot, baby girl. I miss. Doesn't even matter. Max ammo. And now we're on to round 12. And how are we on to round 12? Because we're the best zombies player ever. Now we're back to train up the zombie simulator and shoot two of my micro missiles into them. That sounded crazy. That left my mouth and I was in awe of the diabolical sentence that I just cooked up and actually left my mouth. Hey, yeah, yeah. As much as I hate on Black Ops 1, right, I will say the BO1 Mustangs and Sallys make me like super nostalgic. Oh no, don't jump down. I didn't want you guys to jump down. I just wanted you guys to group up. And we just cleared the round in five bullets for the sake of recording the other games and getting this video out to you guys tomorrow and also having to record the easiest Easter eggs. I think I'm going to call it at round 15. I feel like I could go for probably a while with this unless I somehow like throw this and die before round 15. I feel like I definitely could go for like a little bit of, I feel like I definitely could go for like the foreseeable future. Cause once you have the Mustangs and Sally's it's actually kind of brain dead. Also bro, the people that like mow our lawn, like the lawn company for our uh, apartment complex are outside right now. I, when I tell you every time they come here, they do absolutely 
absolutely nothing. Like, that is not, like, an exaggeration in any way, shape, or form. I swear to God, they just flatten the grass and call it a day. Like, they don't actually cut it at all. At least that's what it looks like every single time. But there we go, on to round 14. We still got 51 bullets in reserve for this one round. I'm telling you, if we can't hit round 15, we're actually throwing. Yeah, the, the startup is definitely slow for this, but once you get going, you get going. And by get going, I mean once you have Mustangs and Sallies. Once you have Mustangs and Sallies, this is, like, actually brain dead. And we got a max ammo. Yeah, uh, bro, I'm telling you, I think we could go for a very long time, and I just want to record the other games and edit this and get this out to you guys. So I have 15. Uh, I'm gonna call it as the foreseeable future of rounds. We would be Gucci. Ouch. Oh, my nose is itchy. Not a good time, bro. I'm trying to train zombies on BO1 Kino Der Toad. I can't be having no distractions. Did we actually just get another max ammo? But there we go. There's round 15. Again, I'm gonna call it for there. Again, I'm gonna call it just because I want to get to the other games and be able to edit this tonight. But with Black Ops 1 done, we now move on to the next game. And now we're on to Black Ops 2 and we're playing Town. Oh no. Hold on. All right. Take one. There we go. Okay. I can actually knife. We disabled the gun game. Yeah. I loaded up the game. Hadn't gotten rid of the script for the gun game. But we're playing Town because we have Pack a Punch right here and we just need Mustangs and Sallies. As long as we get Mustangs and Sallies, we're good. We're chilling. We're okay. Just the base 1911 or whatever we start out with, not okay. Not, not definitely not so much okay. Hey, yay. I mean, realistically, what I should do is I should go get Quick Revive first, but boom, boom, pistols. You feel me? Boom, boom, pistols. I think it's just really all going to depend on how many points we have at the end of this round. Because if we have a decent amount of points at the end of this round, we should probably go for Pack a Punch first. I love exploding zombies so much. It's just such a funny, cool, quirky mechanic. But if we don't have, oh my God. But if we don't have a bunch of points by the end of this round, then we should probably just go get Quick Revive. That's what I'm thinking. A max ammo would be kind of huge right now. I can't even lie. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's not die on round three, please. Yay, yay. Okay, let's drop a grenade right there. Try and kill some of them. Okay, bonk, bonk, knife. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Bonk, bonk. Since you're on fire now, you should be one shot. Okay, okay, yeah. Realistically, I, I need Quick Revive first because I, I will die here. So let's grab Quick Revive just so we have it. Is this a-hole here? Oh, the melee range is so short in Black Ops 2. All right, we're on to round four. We have no points in our 1911. Zombie explode which is kind of annoying but i'm just hoping to god what we can do is we can get up to this 5k oh my god can i hit this guy because we can get up to this 5k get mustangs and sallies and then get to jug i think that's gonna be my goal all right gotta play this safe play this safe and smart oh i said play safe and smart not stupid okay 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 we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good think same strat here we toss that grenade right there oh my god there's a max ammo okay we just need to wrap these zombies over here hey oh yeah yeah Max ammo is huge. Now we can dump all of our 1911 ammo into all these zombies and we can 100% get Mustangs and Sallies this round. I'm not grabbing that because I do still need to go get Jug. Okay, okay, we're on the last zombie. Drop this in the pack a punch. Leave this asshole over here. And there we go. We have Mustangs and Sallies. Kablooey. And now we just save up for Jug. Mustangs and Sallies by round four. You know, that's a W. That's huge. Again, at this point, I think the only thing that's going to kill me is uh, me blowing myself up. I wish I could get the Jug without opening this door right here just because this training spot would be infinitely better. But you know, Jug, Jug is more worth. Is it just this guy? Ooh, insta-kill is kind of nice with this double points because we can knife some zombies, get some points up because this door is 1250, right? 750, okay. So we need 3250. Knife, knife, you're on fire, you bitch. Knife, oh, I can't see. Oh, I can't see again, but it's worth. Knife, oh God, wait, hold on. I'm actually really hurt. We're already almost a Jug. Okay, open this door, grab Jug really quick. And now I feel 10 times safer. And we have a max ammo. Bonk, bonk, kill everything. Bonk, bonk, where are you? Ooh, bonk, pick up this max ammo. We're on to round seven. We have Jug. Jug, we have full ammo. We are chilling, bro. We're good. You know, I'm proud of myself. I did not think that these older games were going to go well. But look at us. We're thriving. We're on round seven. We got Mustangs and Sallies. We got Jug. We got Quick Revive. We haven't used a Quick Revive yet either. We're actually playing these old games smart. And why are we playing these old games smart? Because our brain is fucking huge. That's why. Ow. Okay. I didn't say anything, bro. I didn't say my brain was huge. You can stop, like, I don't know, humbling me by smacking me in the ass. I mean, keep keep humbling me. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, shit. I take it back. I take it back. And just grab this nuke. Just end the round. And now we actually have the points to grab the best perk ever made. Stamina. As a solo player, these are my three essential perks. If there was a three perk limit, this would be it. This, is, this would be what I get. I mean, I wouldn't really need Quick Reviver Jug because I would never get hit because I'm the best zombies player of all time. Like, you know how people do like no hit Elden Ring runs and no hit like Dark Souls 3 runs? Yeah, I do. Uh, I do no hit zombie runs. I think that video actually just went up of the BO4 realistic mode. I literally got to round 100 on every single map because I just didn't get hit because I'm that good. I think I actually died on round three on Voyage. But we're on to round nine. Again, I think like Black Ops 2, if we can get there, 
I'm gonna call it round 15 again for the same reason as Black Ops 1. This one is also going a lot better than Black Ops 1, and it's just because that pack punch is right there, and Jug and Quick Revive are behind single doors. I also, like, love my uh, weapon skins on Black Ops 2. Like, I think my uh, BO1, like, Louis Vuitton and Playboy bullshit is, like, goofy as hell, and I love it for that reason. But the rainbow pack a bunch I have on here, and then the gold weapon skins, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh,
now we literally just upgrade our weapon. Oop, don't pick that up because I need points. Hopefully we can get another pack punch by the end of this round. We sh oh, we should be able to 100%. Oh my God, hello. Yeah, we definitely can. I'm just gonna get it at the end of this round. I'm just gonna melee everything here. There we go. There's an upgrade station right in here, right? Yeah, I can see it. There we go. Pack a punch this again. Grab these extra points. Atlas Mark three is uh, gonna go from doing negative two damage to like negative 1.5 damage. I don't even think it's gonna get a full point, but you know, we'll see. One, two, three, four. Okay, four in melee, just three in melee work. One, two, three. No, okay, so it has to be four. Four in melee on this thing, double pack a punch, bro. That's crazy. One, two, three, four. Okay, you bitch. One, two, three, four, bop. 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 Ow, bitch. One, two, three, four, bop. Yeah, I thought, you know, we're gonna be able to get uh, pack a punch pretty early. Like, this isn't gonna be that bad. I was so wrong. Oh, what the fuck is this sight? It is, it is a three in melee now. So I guess that's kind of cool. And jump over these assholes, get these double points. We might actually be able to pack a punch again by this round. How do these crawlers, how, how are you not one shot melees? Okay, pack a punch this to mark five. This ugly ass fucking sight on now. Yeah, I also thought I wasn't gonna be able to play advanced warfare. Cause again, I do not condone getting your games for free, but I also do not support buying advanced warfare of all games for full price. Cause Call of Duty does not lower the prices of their old games. So I, I think virtually everybody that plays advanced warfare zombies uses the S1 mod, which is like a, like, like a client like plutonium. If you know what plutonium is for uh, world at war black ops one and uh bo2 and i think modern warfare 3 is on there now but the s1 mod is basically the same thing but it's just for advanced warfare loaded in today and it said oh you actually need to own this game on steam so i had to download like an older version of this client but it ended up working obviously we're playing the game sadly i wish it didn't work i wish i could have been like hey not buying this game so tough luck kiddo but i actually could not do that and i figured out a solution pack a punch the atlas again it still does little to no damage whatsoever. We were almost able to pack a punch it to get it to mark seven. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, okay. Yeah. This infected round, not going to go well. Eat. Let's leave some of them over here and die. Bitch. Okay. I only have four bullets left, bro. This is where I like scrape by on my melee only. So I don't know how this is going to go. I mean, I could cook this nade, toss that there. Boom. Train go boom. I am also still infected though. Ugh. Cook this nade, cook this nade, cook this nade, drop it there. Start this. Is it just you? Nope. 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 There's a little bit more. There's a little bit more than just that guy. Harry, bitch. Harry. Oh, you just straight up died. Where's the oh, not the last one. Again, not the last one. Why are there so many, bro? Ah, bitch, bitch, Harry, bitch. Okay, there we go. And pack a bunch of Atlas again. Get it to mark seven. And we're on to round nine. I, I honestly don't think that we're gonna hit the uh, round 15 mark. But if we do hit the round 15 mark, same thing applies for this game like the other ones. Just because I got a, I got a decent amount still left to record. Got Black Ops 3, IW, BO4, and Cold War. I feel like Cold War is definitely gonna be the easiest, right? Also, for those who haven't seen my community post that I put out on YouTube, in between IW and uh, BO4, there might be a little little surprise. A little like little thing that's new to the channel. Is the last zombie? Perry. Oh, never mind. I'll just blow his fucking head off. Pack a punch this again. On to Mark 8 and on to round 10. This thing still does little to no damage, and my grenades are carrying me. Because the grenades in advanced warfare for some reason are like dummy stupid. Oh no, don't do that. Ouch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get away from me. Okay, we go through our normal strategy, cook this nade, toss that bitch right there, and kill everybody there. Oh, insta-kill is humongous. Bop, 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 Punch, punch, punch. Don't grab this nuke. I need points. Are you last? It's gonna be annoying if you're last. No, you're not. Okay, cool. God damn it. I was so close to the double pack. We're on to round 11 somehow. Actually, wait, grab these credits. I might be able to pack a bunch again. I mean, that's really not gonna help. A hundred? Wait, what the fuck? That's some horse shit. What does the game mean? A hundred points from that care package. The minimum I've ever gotten out of it is 600. Cook the good old A, drop that home B right here. Kill all those zombies. Uh oh. I thought. I got all the ones that reboot my EXO. Okay, we got all these assholes grouped up. Cook this, toss that there, and watch them all die. Get away from me, bro. Okay, let's try and mag dump so we can get the double pack this round. Why are you a crawler? I threw grenades. What am I talking about? Why are you a crawler? Okay, I think it's just one more crawler. Let me go double pack first. Pack a punch you, and pack a punch you, and then it's just these two assholes. And there we go. We're on around 12. This thing is pack a punch 11, and it is still doing actually nothing. I actually think this thing might be giving them health. Is it an infected round or is it a dog round? It's an infected round. Oh god damn it. Oh god, this is still doing nothing. Oh, we did get extended mags though. I don't know when that happens, but we do have a lot more ammo now. Okay, we got a ton of these assholes behind me. Drop that there. Okay, killed basically the entire round. Okay, start cooking the nade. Drop that at my feet. There's another one running up behind me. Oh, I almost just dodged into one. Okay, again, cook the nade. Drop that bitch at my feet. Jump. All right, that actually did not kill a lot of them. So cook this again. Drop it there. Please tell me it's just you. Please tell me you're last. He is last. Oh my god. We actually got through that round without even getting hit. 
pack a punch just to mark 12 and we're on around 13 two more rounds and we get to call it i mean i haven't gone down yet like this isn't like particularly hard why do i speak why do i speak i'm gonna die this round oh my god insta kill insta kill's huge oh sorry hyper damage now we can actually use this starting pistol because i've had to use everything besides it because it does no damage whatsoever okay, i think it's just this one last zombie so grab the dna bomb that's round 14 pack a punch this again one more round just one more round we got this it's okay we got it i believe in me me thanks me uh oh uh oh excuse me beep beep excuse me beep beep okay i think we got a decent amount of them grouped up there's also one that can reboot my exo right behind me is that a max ammo are you kidding no double points that still doesn't really help but thank you i guess drop that there please blow up okay then cook this nade again there's a huge group behind me grab that okay i think we're okay i think we're okay i honestly probably should go god i love that. <laughs> i love that trap on that door so much it's just so satisfying no i don't like this game we don't give this game any cool points bad me come on bro oh my god this atlas actually does no damage at all okay, i think these are the last couple too okay i think these are the last two is that it are you last no there's another one where are you lurking are you a crawler oh there's still another one and there we go that's it that's round 15 so again we're gonna call it there for advanced warfare the atlas is definitely the worst starting weapon we've used so far like by a fucking mile so the advanced warfare done now we move on to the next game and now we're on to black ops 3 and obviously black ops 3 i think is going to be a little bit easier because we got the rk5 i think of the bunch black ops 3 will probably be the easiest besides cold war because in cold war even the pistols are scaled up to like be like normal weapons also we've done the super easter egg on cold war so it starts off as like a purple weapon i'm just gonna go in with the 1911 on cold war 2 but same goal as the other maps i'm just gonna try and get this but same goal as the other maps i'm just gonna try and get the mr6 pack a punch because once this is pack a punch we are like actually set also i don't even really need to use ammo yet i'm shooting zombies like i need to use ammo the knife trick is like the easiest on black ops 4 we still got around we're already on to round three we're just gonna chill and spawn until we have the points to open this door the door right behind it and that door over there get to that power area and then once we're in that area we save up to get pack a punch open and i'm playing the giant because i played knox on world at war because i don't want to play a chronicles map and all the base maps in this game opening pack punch with just my starting pistols for me at least would be incredibly annoying like incredibly incredibly annoying okay we can open up here then also this round i'm gonna link this teleporter just so we have it linked i don't think this is last no he's not okay there's still another one open up this door oh, i have to turn the power on first oops i forgot so first we just go turn on the power really quick and now that the power's on we can actually go back over here and get our first pad linked excuse me zombies initiate the excuse me zombies you guys are kind of like in the way all right first pad is done okay grab this new get some extra points then by the end of this round at the very least we should have that i do need to get up the points to open this door get this linked and get my pack a punch just because i like using this area like i like using this area to train more than i like sitting on the catwalk but that's just me i know a lot of people like the catwalk strat i think is dumb and stupid and boring i don't want to be dumb and stupid and boring i say that as of every map in black ops 3 i chose the giant i do also i, I just realized i don't have quick revive so if i go down that is uh that is wraps is it just these three i think it's just these three maybe i have no idea okay speed goal is here never mind it's not just those three there's still two i don't want one sprinting and i don't want to try and make a crawler and kill one so i'm just gonna chill is this quick revive this is quick revive okay grab this really quick you know better safe than sorry so that means jug is back there actually no that doesn't mean jug is back there jug is right there so let's start this also they're talking about it in my discord right now someone was asking if like anybody actually enjoyed cold war like they they said they were having fun on cold war so they were like does anybody actually like also enjoy cold war and i think if i'm being 100 percent honest the only game besides black ops 3 like with custom zombies like the only game that i would go play casually and not for like a video is probably cold war just because cold war is like a lot more chill than a lot of the zombie experiences and then black ops 3 with custom zombies obviously because it's custom zombies like it's it's infinite you have like an infinite amount of maps to play. obviously there's a finite amount of like really really good maps like treyarch level maps but still the amount of time that it would take for you to actually finish all of those maps is like an absurd number also round five is literally free because it's a dog round there is also so many good custom maps coming out actually shit wait it's a 12th hold on let me check something okay so i might also no i'm just gonna record that tomorrow uh a new custom map called the crazy place came out i forgot that was coming out on the 12th i would have recorded that today honestly but that'll probably be a shorter video but then i can get a lot more recording done for the uh, easiest easter eggs after i'm done recording that but i want to try to have er like a video out every one to three days and so far i've been having them out like one to two days like in between each other at least for the recent videos oh insta kill is huge so i'm recording like shorter videos in the meantime while i'm recording that are we actually not going to be able to get it this round uh how many zombies do we have left oh no wait we might be able to get pack a bunch this round hold on let's see oh yeah we can get pack a bunch this round okay start this link and then cruise back to spawn there we go pack punches open 
open. Pack a bunch of our MR6. And now we have the death and taxes. I think there's only a couple zombies left too. There we go. On to round seven. Got our pack a bunch of MR6. And now we're good. We're, we're, we're chilling. The only thing we really need is jug. And then we're really, really good. And now literally all we're doing is grouping up the zombies, waiting for them to be in like a, a good old pocket. Once they're in that good old pocket, we just bop and they're all dead. Oh, they're not all dead. Bop. And now they're all dead. There's one more just lingering about somewhere. Nope. There's two. I hear one behind me. There's that one there. Where are you, asshole? Is that still not last? What the hell? Oh, here he is. Okay. There we go. On to round eight. Yeah, I think my one goal is just get to jug. But we need to open that door in there. So we need 3,500. Because we need the 1,000 for the door and then the 2,500 for jug. Yeah, I think the only other game that, like, might cause us just, like, a little bit of issues, because I'm not going to use director's cut, is IW. BO4, I feel like, should be pretty easy. Oh, yeah, and I forgot about the surprise in between IW and BO4. If you've seen my community post, you already know what's coming. If you haven't, it's going to be a nice little surprise. Also, what am I talking about? I don't need a thousand extra. I can literally just open this door right here, which is 750. Grab jug. Now we're 10 times safer. Excuse me, zombie. Now we get back to our nice little area and we chill. Yo, where the fuck are all the zombies? Wait, am I at the end of the round? I paused the recording for a second. Oh, I was at the end of the round. Oops. I thought I started a new round. Now we're on to round nine. Well, there's left. There's leftover Chinese food in the fridge. After Black Ops 3, I might go heat me up some of that because I am getting a little, a little hungry and I also want to eat so I have something in my stomach before I uh, take my day quill, my allergy medicine. Because if you guys have not noticed over like the course of the past couple videos, I am extremely like stuffy and I feel sick all the time. This pollen season is not being nice to me at all. Kapow! Kablooey! But the grind never stops, baby girl. I'm gonna keep recording videos and pumping this shit out. And why? Because the grind never stops, baby girl. Also, fun little story. I was scrolling through TikTok, right? And this TikTok came up on my For You page of someone making like AI music. I'm like, oh, that seems cool. And some like the top comment was like the name of the AI. So I looked it up, right? And we started making AI. AI songs and like we got like addicted to it like we just like kept making them for like an hour to two hours but one person didn't stop making them and you only get like 50 credits right so you get to make like 10 songs but it makes so you, but you only get 50 credits right so every time that you like put in a prompt it makes two songs and that uses 10 of your credits so you get to use like five prompts so we kept going through like different gmails right and then we ran out and someone I will name names I'm not gonna say it yet but someone ran out of gmails started scratching their arm like a crack addict who couldn't get their fix. I was like, I need to make more. I need to make more. <laughs> Spent money on the website to get 2,500 credits. And I might be wrong, but is under 2,000 credits now with how many they've made. You know, I'm not going to name names. I want you guys to guess who it is because I feel like you guys probably could. And if you already know the answer, like if you're like Nick or Rowan, because you guys were there while it was happening, don't let them guess. Let them figure it out. Okay, grab this nuke. And then I also need to go grab uh, double tap. You can almost grab speed cola too. I mean, speed cola would help us a little bit, I guess. But grab double tap. Boom. Ouch. I think this is last. Hold on. Let's see if I can't farm up some points from this a-hole. Oh, he's not last. There's another one. I hear it. So we can't get speed cola this round too. Come on, asshole. I hear you. That's also not last. You're last. You're not last. Oh my God. Well, bro, where is this last zombie? There we go. Oh my God. That's actually not the last zombie again. I hear him. This is not this map. Black Ops 3 teased Black Ops Cold War. The sign is right here. Also, we're on around 12. Black Ops 3 is a pretty chill, chill experience. But I'm curious to see who you guys guess uh, got addicted to making AI music. And like when I say addicted, like I mean addicted. Don't get me wrong, it's fun. And I still like use my credits because they're like daily. So you get them back after 24 hours, right? Like you can't like stack them, at least I don't think. But even with not being able to stack them, it doesn't really like really matter. You still get like 50 daily. But someone bought $2,500 worth of credits. Also, we're on to round 13. We got two more rounds. This has been, I I'm telling you, like Black Ops 3 of all games, we could go for the foreseeable future. Especially if I pack a bunch of RK5 too. Because then I can just go buy ammo for it. Like the only thing that would kill me is my my brain shutting off, which to be fair, does happen often, but the actual difficulty of this game would not kill me. It would be myself. It would be my own sabotage. But no, the AI music thing is actually kind of crazy. Like, especially the instrumentals it makes. Oh my God, bro. Like, obviously like the lyrics sometimes are like, oh God, like that is definitely AI. But the instrumentals are insane. We figured out the best ones like that you can do that sound the best, like consistently are uh, anime openings. So, like if you do like anime opening style for the song, it always sounds Sounds like incredible. Oh, oh, he's tweaking. Oh, he's tweaking the fuck. Oh my God. There we go. On to round 14. One more round. We're going to call it for the sake of getting this video out to you guys. And because we could go for a very long time. This poor, poor man. Bro was fucking hung. Holy shit. Also with the dog round, this is like basically a free round. Ouch. Let's not blow myself up on a dog round. Jesus Christ, bro. How many dogs are spawning? Okay, there we go. That's the last one. Now we're on to round 15. That is Black Ops 3 done. And when Black Ops 3 done, now we move on to the next game. All right. I forgot to. Um, pause it. All I've done so far is I grabbed
grabbed up an Atoms. I turned on the power to open this door, but we're on to Infinite Warfare. But I was saying that I really don't know how Infinite Warfare is going to go. If we can get to Pack-a-Punch, we're good. But that's the thing is we have to get to Pack-a-Punch, which we can open this door, start moving out, and it's just going to be expensive. That, that's the only thing. Because we got to get over here, we got to get to Arcade, we got to get to Polar Peak, and we got to get over here, which is going to be uh, quite quite a big amount of points. I'm also going to try and save my Kendall ammo and just use my melee at the beginning. But who knows, honestly, maybe, maybe we got this. Maybe we're crazy. I say that as I'm red screened on round two. Don't worry, I was practicing safe meleeing. We're on to round three. We still don't even have a door open, bro. Okay, we do have we do have this one open. Oh, we need to get in here. We gotta get back over there and turn on that power too. It's just gonna be expansive, bro. Okay, if I get three headshots and I melee, it's a one-shot melee. Try not to whiff my shots because I do need as much as this ammo as I can keep. Infinite grenades uh, does not really help me right now. I'm gonna be real. One, two, three, bop. One, two, three, bop. One, two, three, bop. One, two, three, bop. Okay, we can't actually open our first teleporter. I'm gonna get the arcade one done first. Open you up. Turn on the power. Come on, hurry up. Activate portal and take this. There we go. There's one down. Now we need 1500 to get back here and open that one up. Yeah, bro, this is not gonna be fun. Okay, it is no longer three. One, two, three, four, bop. One, two, three, four. Okay, four to the head, one melee. Well, we have the 1500. Let's open up right here. Go turn on this power, take this portal, and then we're halfway there. One, two, three, four, bop. Okay, turn on this power switch and then go back over to the teleporter. One, two, three, four, bop, and activate it. Nope, ah, there we go, okay. Right back here and take this. There we go, we're at two out of four. Okay, we only have 10 bullets left too, which is not fun. If we could get like a like a max ammo or bro, even just like an ammo clip at this point, that would be like really cool. Luckily the zombies are only a three melee right now. So it's not like too bad. Ammo clip, that's cash, but cash is still useful. Oh, insta-kill is huge. Okay, Use as much of this as we can. Pick up this cash. Oh my God, we got so many points. Okay, we should be able to get another one open. So maybe Pack-a-Punch is doable. For some reason that gave us a thousand cash. So it made Pack-a-Punch like very, very, very doable. Open this up, turn on this power, and then we activate our third portal. And now we literally just need the one, what is it? The Kepler system? Uh-oh. Okay, so we literally just need this and then we have Pack-a-Punch open. So Pack-a-Punch is very, very doable. Ammo? Ammo. Also, I ate, but I was letting it sit for a little bit before I take my medicine. I will go take my, my allergy and my cold medicine really quick. Be right back, guys. All right, for you guys, this was instantaneous. For me, it was a couple minutes. Oh my God, oh my God, wait, there's a zombie behind me. Oh, I almost went down. Is it bad that I took a I took an allergy pill with a swig of G fuel instead of water? I swear to God, I'm engaged and I'm not a virgin. That was one of the like most virgin sentences that has ever escaped my lips. But I swear to God. Oh God, I don't want, bro, I don't want a repeat of this. Oh, this was like this part in the melee only that I did for uh, IW actually genuinely almost put me to sleep. It's like giving me PTSD because I'm the same character too. I have the spoon. Yeah, the only like, not even problem, but the only thing that we could like definitely run into that could be a little annoying is just getting up the points for Pack-a-Punch. Once we get the points for Pack-a-Punch, we're good. But we still got to open these two doors, which are, I'm pretty, we have enough points to do. I'm just trying to get down to like a zombie. Oh, infinite ammo. Hold on. Okay. Now we just get all headshots. Okay. I think it's just these three. Now it's just these two. Now it's just this one. All right. Open this door and open here and then flip the last power switch. There it is. There's Slappy Taffy. We activate the portal and now we just need 3000 points and we can pack a punch our Kendall. I'm guessing this last zombie was starting to follow me. So he'd be over here, but we just stand here, wait for this last zombie and the rounds and then we save up for pack a punch and we're good ammo clip okay, just dump our candle ammo into these zombies that's all we're gonna do later on anyways we might as well just get it done early okay hold on. oh my god hold on let's uh not die that would be uh really cool living not death pretty sick nasty did i actually just say the word sick nasty we definitely should be able to pack a punch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we definitely should be able to pack a punch this round it's just gonna take a minute because we have to melee these zombies because we have to melee these zombies oh my god that was stupid why did i run through there we're slowly picking at like all the zombies get away from me bitch <laughs> bitch 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 i'm just like not talking during this part because this is like incredibly boring i feel my brain slowly giving out on itself every passing second one less neuron is firing bro not even one less like a good like hundred less we are at four thousand though so we're, we're we're getting there well fire sale doesn't really help me is there bonfire sales in iw because that would have been pretty cool whoa, whoa 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 i didn't realize i did not realize where i was standing okay like come on either one of you die there we go okay go to pack a bunch no let me in and pack a bunch or candle oh my god we finally made it all oh, that took so long but give her there we go handle is pack a bunch now we're good we're chilling now we just need jug and bomb stompers now we just <clears throat> but now literally all we need is tough enough and bomb stompers oh my god i can't fucking speak but now literally all we need is tough enough and bomb stoppers and we're good we're set okay hold on let's go through this ammo really quick i don't know where the last zombie is but i'm gonna pick up this ammo clip i hear him see back here no you're right there the only problem i can see us running into is the fact that this does not produce a lot of points 
points. Clowns. Clowns would be pretty easy. I mean, honestly, once we have pack a bunch candles or pack a bunch like starting pistols, we're we're good. We're chilling. Hiya! 360. 360 final kill on the clowns has got to be one of the most toxic things I've ever done in IW. Bomb stoppers are up here, right? I'm not tripping because I know slappy taffy's right there. Now I know where it is and I'll never forget. And bomb stoppers are yeah, bomb stoppers are right here. Oh, they're only 1500. Hold on, let's just get these now. Okay, okay, yeah, no, we're good now. So now we just get jug. And then once we get jug, we, we're set for the round 15. The old, like literally the only problem we could really run into is just running out of ammo. But even then, as long as we group up the zombies and then once the zombies are grouped up, just do that and kill all of them, we're good. Because now we can't damage ourselves with the Kendall, so we can't blow ourselves up. Again, fire sale does not really help us. Bop, bop, cash, cash, cash. On to round nine. We're cruising so far. How have you already spawned? C9 literally just popped up. Ugh, ugh. All right, let's kill this little group. Now this little group is dead. We can get my baby girl, my boo thang. Tough enough. All the homies fuck with tough enough. And if you don't, you ain't a homie. Ammo? Ammo. See, I like very, very, very much prefer this drop system. Like IW's drop system with like ammo clips, different grenades, like stuff like that compared to Cold War. Cause it's not as common as Cold War or like Modern Warfare Zombies. But using Cold War and Modern Warfare Zombies, like drops don't even feel all that helpful. Cause like the drops you get on the ground do it like all for you. But there we go. We're on to round 10. Thing that I'm going to open up this door. So the next thing that we can get is race and stripes. And then we can actually get a fifth perk, right? Because up and Adams counts as like a, just like a self revive whenever you're playing solo. Oh God. Big boys up. Uh, big boys up. Big boys up. Okay. He's already taken off his head. Die big boy. Oh shit. Oh, he coming. Oh Lord. And he's dead. Stupid idiot. Stupid idiot. Baby man. Ammo clip. Ammo clip. Ammo clip. We got an in skill so we can actually save our ammo. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go get race and stripes. Cause from big boy and the double points, we got a shit ton of points and grab race and stripes. Yeah, IW was one of those ones that I wasn't sure about, but like as I'm doing it, this is very, very easy. We're on around 11 and this is another time where I'm not doing the research to give me an answer, but does double tap and or now bang bangs actually affect explosive damage or no? Because like obviously it affects bullet damage, right? I just have no idea if it affects explosive damage. I'm in the air. Ugh, ugh. Either way, we're going to grab it here. Let's see because we're kind of making a lot of crawlers before. I can't tell if it does then it's like not by much, but if it like if it doesn't, I guess it still helps because it increases your fire rate. Ammo clip? Oh wait, no. These were the gas grenades I already looked at. What the fuck am I talking about? Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? What year is it? Ouch. Ow. No, I'm beating you to death. Out of spite, do you guys ever just melee a zombie to death? Like box it because it annoyed you? Maybe this is why I die on early rounds is I do dumb shit like this. Bro, like I wish I could use this music as background music. If in the background of my zombies videos, I could have sunglasses at night. Oh my God. Like, don't get me wrong. I get why copyright exists because it would be really bad if it didn't, right? Because people could just steal your shit left and right. So like, obviously there's a necessity for it. Like there's a need for it, but still let me just use it as background music. Like, and the, the thing that sucks, I think the thing that like actually sucks about copyright, like that makes it annoying is that there's like no wiggle room at all with it. Because if there was wiggle room, there would be loopholes, which I mean, there are already technically loopholes, but like nothing crazy. We're also on to round 13. We have two more rounds and then we're done with IW. And this is a free round because it's a clown round. I saw you guys spawn over here. Are you actually wrapping the whole bridge. This is extremely challenging. They spawn behind me. Are you going to come up here? Are you? Nope. They're wrapping the bridge again. And there's more right there. Here we go. On to round 14. But again, I get why copyright exists and I get why there's not a lot of wiggle room when it comes to it. But because of that, it's also really annoying, especially as someone that like makes content. It is very, very, very annoying. But I just, I don't even like, oh my God, big boy, where is he? Bro, I just want to use cool ass music. Ammo clip. Like, bro, I don't even want to use like copyright, like how all these other people want to use it. And like, actually, oh, 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 where people just want to straight up steal shit. I want to have like anime openings and like sunglasses at night. I don't have some like Post Malone thrown in for background music too. Like I just want more wiggle room because I want cool ass background music. Don't get me wrong. I love the Persona OSTs. Like the Persona OSTs are incredible. Did he put his head back on? You dumb bitch. Get over here, asshole. Yeah, take that shit off. Take that shit off. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Yeah, you're dead, dumb bitch. Punch. All right, got an insta-kill. Let's box the last zombies. Box, box, bitch. Cash, money. Literally get robbed, idiot. And there's a nuke. And that's gonna end the round. Is that gonna end the round? There we go. We're on to round 15. So that's IW done. And now we get to move on to our surprise. And our surprise is now we're on to World War II. Sadly, World War II has been acquired for videos. So now we have World War II for videos. So it's going to be included in all game videos. Sadly, no, it's not going to be in these easy Easter eggs. Already made those polls. Already have that started recording. I'm not adding. It's not happening. But for this video, yes, it absolutely will be in there. Also, Renzaro's already told me that I'm going to have to be joining him on stream for Easter eggs. So I'm going to be learning them through that because I think that's the one game that he hasn't done all the Easter eggs on is World War 
2. I mean, I feel like this game will definitely be more fun like with people, but you know, it's still World War II. I'm still just not a huge fan of this game. I also think I've had, I also think I've gotten Pack-a-Punch open like once ever on this map. I think I remember how to do it. Well, once ever on this map in like recent year. Whenever World War II came out, I was playing the zombies. Still definitely not my favorite, but I did play the zombies like here and there. I should have also not ended the rounds, but it's already too late. But I know we got to get the power on. We got to flip the switches in uh, the left and right areas. I think it's like labs and something else. See if that can kill most of them. Okay, I did. Kill these a-holes. Is it a three hit for you? Yes. Okay, it's a three hit melee right now. That's stamina up. Here we go. We can turn the generator on, open these doors up. And now we have the ability to get down into the bunker. And like, I, I, I don't know how right I am about this, but like, I remember the big running joke that every starting pistol is better than every single weapon that you can get inside of this game. Like once you pack a punch it. So I'm pretty sure as long as I can get pack a punch open, I'm like set. Also, I don't know if this is a me thing. This could just be a me thing, but I will give World War II cool points. I do really like the shovel melee. I could not tell you why I like the combat shovel melee, but I do. I think it's goofy and I love it. Hell yeah, bro. I am level seven. Okay, but we can open this up. Okay, asshole. Get away from me. Can we get one of the switches flipped? I'm pretty sure. These doors are either 1250 or 1500. I can't really remember, but either way we have that amount. Okay, now we can open this door and then actually we can't do this yet because we need both of them open. But we just progress this round, get this door open, then we flip those switches and then we're good. At least we should be in theory. Then we have to get to sewers. And I think the only place that we really need to open up is back here because we need to get to this tower area. Luckily, everything's still a three hit melee. So we can get up our points, not waste our ammo. We do have free fire. I was running camouflage before, but I think once you run out of ammo in your whatever gun you're holding, you can't use your camouflage. At least it wasn't letting me. So I was going to run camouflage just for safety, but like, I don't think it works. I could be wrong on that, but it wasn't letting me. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I broke the game already or what happened, but it would not work. Oh, and skills huge. I will not be missing that extra like 20 points that we were getting. I'd rather just kill these zombies instantly. Okay, we still got a couple more. These might be last two. I kind of want to save two of them just so they're walking and they're not sprinting around. That would be ideal. But now we can open up through here and let's interact with this switch. Excuse me, zombies. And then we interact with this one. There we go. Okay, now that that's open, we have to get into the sewers, interact with the first button, and then we need to go through all the fucking slip and slides. Once we go through all the slip and slides, we're good. That should, I don't even know if in theory, that, that should open pack a bunch. But yes, now World War II will be included because we actually have it. Vanguard, on the other hand, we're not going to talk about the game. That game does not exist. Oh, this is 1500? Damn. Oh my God, it's this round. These guys are only two hit though. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, hold on. I'm getting hurt. Okay, there's three of these. Actually, I can use my pistol. We get a max ammo at the end of this or a max ammo during it. Okay, okay. We got two max ammos. Thank you, I guess. So they can drop drops on top of also getting a max. Okay, I'm not going to think about it too hard. Oh God, bro. They're a five hit now. Increased weapon damage. Oh my God, Jesus, bro. Okay, how much? This is 1500 also? Yeah, also 1500. Okay, I think now is where we start using our uh, pistol just a little bit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on. Ooh, ooh, excuse me. Because we need to open up that door. And once we have that door open, we need to open up the sewers, interact with that one button, and then we got to take all of our little fucking slip and slides, which are 250 each. There's just so much that goes into getting packed a bunch, like points wise. To be fair, that that is what it's like in every other game. I'm not just like ripping on World War II for that. Also, as much as I don't like World War II, I will say World War II probably has my favorite zombie models like of all time. World War II zombie models are like so, so incredibly good. If they got anything right, it's that. Is there collateral points in this? Oh, there might be. I mean, it might be only between like one or two zombies, but there's definitely collateral points in this. Oh, that's a double points. Oh, I need that so bad. Excuse me, beep beep. Okay, let's use our free fire too and just rack up a ton of points. Okay, that was huge. Okay, we're down to these two. I'm gonna save them. We have so many points. Holy shit. Okay, so open this door up. We might actually be able to get Pack-a-Punch as soon as we're done opening this up. This is the sewers, right? Okay, now interact with this button. Start lifting that up and that activates these. Now there's, oh my Jesus. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Now there's one of the poop shoots right here. So we take poop shoot number one and now we have this button. And now I'm pretty sure the next one is in the laboratory. Yep, there it is. Poop shoot number two and button number two. And that raises that even more. And the reason that we opened up back here is because poop shoot number three is all the way in this back corner. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. N e oh my God, you're, you are infuriating because I don't know if this is going to like teleport me right there. So I'm going to give it a second, wait for this nuke to disappear and then take poop shoot number three and get the last button. Okay. Nuke is gone. Take the poop shoot and interact with the last button. And now we have pack bunch open and there we go. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Go. Oh, oh, Jesus. And there we go. And now we're good. And we can buy ammo for it from here. Wait, that's kind of crazy. And now I think we're chilling. I don't know what starting pistol is like the best. I would also assume like you could probably 
put akimbo on the pistols so probably that would be better i don't know i have no idea but now we're good we have this pack a punch and we're chilling yeah compared to every other weapon that i've used whenever i was like leveling up to get custom classes this thing clears this is a starting pistol we also have the points now let's rack up a little bit more with these double points but we can get double tap so let's grab you and that's already that round done that's insane wasn't this one phd or am i am i crazy no this is like this is the melee damage one we also already got a max ammo max ammo's drop like candy in this game from like what i've seen so far at least my like playing of it drops like fucking candy i'm telling you instead of sledgehammer doing like a like a zombies with world war ii like a round base this would have been so much better if it was just like a campaign oh there's big boy he's already dead oh my fucking god this thing is crazy i know it's pack a punch we got double tap and it's round eight but bro still no other gun was doing this kind of damage this is actually insane and there's another max and there's another max ammo i'm telling you bro they're like candy i don't know if that's just for me i don't know if my rng in world war ii of all games for some reason is good but they're like candy okay electric cherries there speed cola is here we're also going on to round nine we have six more rounds we're chilling we are we are more than fine i'd also probably assume there's perk down here or at least a perk down here i kind of just want to see what's down here if there's nothing crazy i'm probably just gonna grab speed cola and stamina oh my jesus christ i, I have no idea what the hell their german ass names are in this game so first thing i'm gonna go grab a stamina up the hell is this what, what is going on here why was that what is that zombie why did why was he just like pooping pooping points okay grab stamina up yeah i mean i say we should save our ammo but like i think we're okay we don't really like need to save our ammo because we get max ammo like candy and a max ammo literally only costs four thousand points so let's grab this yeah i think i think we're set with double tap speed cola stamina up and quick arrive obviously quick arrive but but now we're going on around 10 five more rounds to go and we're good round 10 is another free round because it's one of these like dog rounds i also just got a nuke i don't know that's straight up gonna end the round no it's not but that sure as hell did and now we're good we kind of just hang out so this kind of goes for any game as long as you uh you know play it at least semi smart get to pack a punch you're, you're good you're, you're chilling and then like for gets and shiggles i can just pop this oh my god hello oh he's already dead doesn't even matter just use my free fire did i have a double free fire this is the last zombie i hear him there we go and that round's done so my free fire just lasted like double the amount of time don't know how that's a thing but that's a thing it's still like a absurdly good i hear i hear big footsteps i hear very big footsteps is there another one of these big assholes oh yeah i think i just saw him i think i just made sensual eye contact with him coming up there oh i did hey there pal and he's already dead maybe it was this pistol maybe it was this pistol that they were talking about that it's like actually insane because why would you use anything besides this this is unbelievably good and it has an absurd amount of ammo and i don't even have any attachments on it and it's like uh oh i'm starting to run a little bit low on ammo what shall i ever do well crazy enough i can just walk back up to the pack a punch machine and buy ammo and i still have 5k to spare now 6k to spare like it actually kills the big guy in a single mag it's it's insane grab this nuke progress through the rounds as fast as we can because this is like probably the most brain dead experience so far oh we buy ammo and then we get the max ammo it always happens try and get through as many bullets as we can before we pick this up though hello jesus okay it's it's blinking fast and there we go we're on to round 14 and after this round we're done with world war ii this is the first time it's been in one of these videos and now it's going to be in all the all game videos i was kind of hoping it would be a dog round just to fly through this i mean but even with a normal round we can still fly through this what the fuck is that what are you chat why does the zombie have a wonder weapon oh there we go and he's already dead it doesn't even matter we got an insta kill so now i can literally fly through this round i think these are the last couple zombies no oh big boy's right there hey pal hey buckaroo ow damn he's got crazy ass reach bro is that the last zombie no are you the last zombie there we go so that's round 14 done we're on to 15 we got two games left i'm gonna try and power through them but but that is world war ii done and with that now we move on to the next game and now we're on to black ops 4 now black ops 4 i'm playing 9 i know 9 is a little bit overplayed but i have these i have these challenges that i can use to get my pack up on strife out the gate and i think that that's like actually my best bet on any map so i gotta like speed run these challenges hopefully i don't get anything really annoying also not gonna use any of my elixirs just like in black ops 3 i didn't use any of my gobble gums and iw i didn't use director's cut keeping this vanilla but i think black ops 4 at least for the beginning is gonna be relatively easy just because obviously the strife has the bayonet and the bayonet on the strife is actually unbelievably good okay let me grab this consecutive headshot kills okay that's doable especially with insta kill i just gotta make sure i don't fuck this up because this one can be annoying if you mess it up once you mess it up once it's just like an annoying ouch challenge but i'm also trying to get through this because i think they're playing uno okay head oh did i not have insta kill am i tripping okay there's another headshot kill there's my third headshot kill fourth headshot kill and fifth headshot kill okay there we go okay pick up the bonus points please don't be an annoying challenge okay slide under the blade trap okay am i gonna be able to actually do that i should be able to do this right okay let's do that activate the blade trap and slide under there we go and that should be our pack upon strife right it's just three at least i think it's just three yeah it 
it is. Okay, there we go. Pack a punch strife. There we go. Okay, now we work on getting pack a punch open. So we can keep pack a punching this strife because this thing will fall off very fast. Just like every weapon in Black Ops 4. But there we go. First one's done. And we can start our next one. Are you last? This might be last zombie. So I'm gonna try and save this. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Okay, one's dead. And there we go. Both are dead. So there's our next head. We can start working our way down. I do need to get perks too, but I'd rather get pack a punch open first. Just because in this game we technically have like infinite jug. Technically, because you have 200 health. Okay, this is 1500, so we can't open here yet. Bonus points, bonus points. Oh my god, it's actually bonus points. So we can open up in here. Also, I should probably build the shield. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'll grab the first shield piece, which it's right here. Pick you up. Our bayonet is still one-shotting, thank god. I think it's round five that it falls off. So just get up as many points as we can with the melee, and we can start opening to the other temples and getting our other heads we need for pack -a Double points is huge. I wish I got this, like, closer to the beginning of the round, though. I also think we're on the last couple zombies, so let's just progress this. So let's open up right here. God, it's so expensive to get over here. Also, there's the shield piece. So let's pick that up. Let's start this. I was gonna say, this one's the tigers, right? And there we go. They're all dead. Pick up that head. Now we should be able to open across here. Yo, stop it, bitch. And now let's start this last one. Okay, I think it's just him, right? Yeah, there we go. And we have our last head. Also get our last shield part while we're here. There we go. There's that. And now we have pack a punch open. There we go. On to round five, we have pack a punch open. We can just keep double packing our strife, making this thing stronger and stronger. The only thing I am in desperate need of is a max ammo. I need a max ammo so bad. Uh, a nuke is uh, not a max ammo. Fun fact of the day with SBP, in case you guys did not know, the uh, new power-up drop is in fact not a max ammo power-up drop. The max ammo power-up drop actually gives you uh, max ammo. Wait, does this up the damage of the bayonet? I pack punched it again and it's one-shotting. Okay, that's huge. We're on to round six, so I didn't have to use any more ammo, so that's cool. If it could be a tiger round, that would be even cooler. All right, it looks like I'll just go fuck myself. Is the bayonet still one-shot? No, it does not. All right, that is great information to have. Max ammo? Carpenter. That also, fun facts, you guys get two fun facts in one day. That also, fun fact, is uh, not a max ammo. For those uh, who didn't know, ouch. Okay, but the bayonet is back to one-shotting, so that's cool. In the theory, if we double pack again, it should one-shot next round, too. That's a uh, bonus points. Three fun facts in one day, are you guys ready? Bonus points does not actually give you max ammo, it gives you bonus points. Crazy, I know. Oh, I accidentally finished the challenge. I think that's actually the max ammo drop, if I'm not wrong. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty rad, that's pretty sick nasty. Why'd I say it again? I, I Why did I say sick nasty again? But in theory, this should, yep, it's one-shotting again, hell yeah. Ow, ow, there we go, there's a max ammo. Still not gonna use it, because I can one-shot melee. There's actually no point in me shooting my gun right now. We can double pack again, which I'm gonna do. I say double pack again, it's, this is like quadruple pack at this point. Okay, let me actually check. No, I need points for perks, that's what I need. I was gonna pick up that nuke, I was gonna see if I can double pack again. Okay, it's at max damage, but we do need perks. The perks in this game are expensive. So how much is stamina? 2,000, okay. So stamina is still the same, so that's cool. That's the only perk I really want. I need to get all of them so I have speed cola, but I think Dying Wish is 5k if I'm not wrong. I also just heard the gladiator spawn. The bayonet is still one-shotting, thank god. Oh, there's that a-hole, he's already dead. So thank god that like repacking this actually increases the damage of the bayonet, because this has made like this actually a breeze. We also got a double points, which is actually huge for points. We're rolling in it right now. Grab stronghold. Also, I think this is a tiger round. Oh, I mean, insta-kill is cool, I guess, but I already one-shot him. So I think I'm gonna get PhD last just because I don't really need PhD. Let's grab Dying Wish. Oh, Dying Wish is only 4k. And then how much is PhD? Also 4k. Which I'm crossing my fingers and crossing my toes that this bayonet still one-shots on round 10. I don't know if it will, but I, I one can hope. It does not. Okay. But it's still two shots, so it's not bad. So I can still, like, build up points. Oh, hold on. Let's kill you first. If I just have, like, one zombie on me, I can just, like, melee them, get some extra points. And then whenever there's a group, like, I actually shoot the gun, you know? There we go. Grab PhD, we grab a last perk, and now we have speed cola. Is this last zombie? There we go. On to round 11, too. Oh, I never built a shield. Oops. I literally have all the parts for the shield. I just never built it. Let's do that really quick. I'm scared. Okay, grab the shield, and now we're good. And now we just go back up and chill. Ooh! And now we have the max ammo chilling here. Okay, the bayonet's still two shots. So whenever we don't have, like, a lot of zombies, like we do right now, I'm just gonna use that. Where the hell are the- where are the zombies? Oh, it's just you? Oh, it's just those two. There we go. There we go. On to round 12. Three more rounds to go, and then we're done with Black Ops 4. Yeah, we're getting the pack upon Strife on 9. That's why I was saying earlier that this is definitely gonna be one of the easier ones. We also get a max ammo at the end of this round, so that's huge. And then we still have the max ammo here. There we go. He's dead. Ouch. He's dead. And there's our max ammo. On to round 13. It's going very, very easy. The only one I think is gonna be easier and, like, by far the easiest is Cold War. Cold War is actually gonna be brain dead. I, like, actually wish that they didn't always throw full powers and they threw, like, max ammos or something. Oh, insta-kill's huge. Just fly through this round really quick. I don't even have to- Oh, eh. I was gonna say, I don't even really have to shoot because we have this bayonet and it makes a 
knifing extremely easy. Like I jumped by a tiger. I think this is last. There we go. On to 14. Still got our max ammo cooking right there. So we are, we're fine. Unless I do something really stupid and somehow throw this run. What are you throwing at me? Oh boy, a double points. My 10,000 points was not enough. I also forgot that technically the strife is a wall buy. So I can just buy ammo for it. Like it's like over here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. But we got that nuke. I think we only have like a couple more zombies in this round. Oh, hello, big boy. And he's dead. That was uh, very, very easy. And there we go. There's round 15. And with round 15, that's Black Ops 4 done. We could definitely go for the foreseeable future. I mean, eventually this gun will just stop doing damage like every gun in Black Ops 4. But as for right now, we're, we're chilling. So Black Ops 4 done. We move on to the last game in this video. And now we're on to Cold War. And like I was saying, I think Cold War is definitely going to be one of the easier ones just because every gun in Cold War is good. I mean, there's a couple that are bad later on, but like early on, they, they're, they're good. Let me also turn on the Rampage Inducer. Just get through this faster and get through these beginning rounds faster. Also, since we've already done the Super Easter Egg, we literally come into this with a purple weapon. So not only is the 1911 already just good, it's also purple. So like we don't need to upgrade its rarity at all. It already does an obscene amount of damage. I would have saved that double points. That's kind of annoying. It's going to take a second for the zombies to spawn in. Never mind. He is already on my ass. <laughs> Hey, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. It's okay. We're good. Why are you a crawler? You're dead now. Stupid bitch. Why are there so many crawlers? Yeah, the 1911 has 350 bullets in reserve, bro. That is actually insanity. Oh, oh, pick up this armor. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm I'm actually down, bro. So I don't wanna I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna I said Cold War is gonna be the easiest, and I actually died. So this is gonna go off. We're gonna grab this nuke for points. I think we accidentally killed some zombies, and then uh eventually we'll get a self revive again. But thank god for the ramp. Rampage inducer. I'm also grabbing stamina up. Thank God for the rampage inducer because we are already on round five. Here I'm breaking in. So, oh, they're breaking in right there. They're breaking in. What the hell's the last one? Are you breaking in up here? Oh my Jesus Christ. Holy jump scare. Okay, get some extra points. Get some more extra points. No point in buying jug because we can get it for free. There we go. Open this up. Yeah, on round six, I'm still one tapping to the head. Okay, I think we need 3250 because I think that next door is 1750. This one's 1500. Quick math. My brain is huge. So we need 350. 350. What, what the fuck am I talking about? 30 250. I say my brain is huge and then I say 350, bro. Okay, I think that's last zombie. We save you. We can get pack a punch open and we can get our free jug. Interact with this terminal and interact with this terminal. Wait for the pretty purple portal to spawn. <laughs> the pretty purple portal. The PPP. <laughs> and then we teleport. And of course, it's the ether tunnel the furthest away from me. And we take this down, pick this up, and now we have pack a punch built. And also, before we end this round, actually, this will end the round after we're done doing it. Get our free jug. Shoot you. Shoot you and we shoot you and we shoot you did that hit that yeah i think it did and last but not least we come over here and we shoot you and now we get free jug so i still don't know is it possible to kill one of these assholes i'm just gonna keep knifing this guy and see if he dies just over and over and over again so i think this is the only way to damage them. i don't know if they're like scaled up to a certain amount of health or if they just have infinite health or like what's going on come on bro just die come on just let it happen bro is hitting that shit though i can't even lie look at him bro he hitting that shit oh my god okay get our free jug is that a purple rocket launcher go fuck yourself Ouch. I hear the last dog. Oh, here it comes. There we go. Grab our max ammo and let's also repair our armor. Now, big boy should be spawning this round. No, and just go back up here and chill. And we have stamina up and jug. The only thing I really would want to save up for past this point is pack a punch. Or at least that's the first thing I'm going to get because I literally have fast mags on this 1911. Oh, a max ammo after the dog round, bro. I'm telling you. And kill this megaton. There we go. And megaton is dead. Pick up all this BS. And we have enough to pack a punch. There's last zombie on to round nine and let's pack a punch. This weapon has has over 600 bullets. It has 54 rounds before I have to reload. When I told you guys Cold War was going to be like significantly easier compared to the other games, I was not kidding. That round was very, very easy. We're on to round 10 and we're chilling. Yeah, I think eventually in the future I'll include Vanguard, but like that is like distant future. That is no, no time soon. I also just like don't want to play that game. I'm gonna be real. I don't own it on PC. I'm pretty sure I have it on Xbox, but I also just like don't want to play it at all. And like, I, I can't, can you blame me? at all vanguard if your homie ever like hits you up and says yo you want to play some vanguard zombies check him in bro get him medicated something he's not okay here comes the next megaton and megaton's already dead we already almost have enough for the uh double pack like 2,000 points off that it's just this one last zombie yeah no there's another one where is he hello no way is he coming out of there i swear to fucking god oh my god yeah we're literally 500 points off from getting our next pack punch yeah even if you're not hitting headshots bro this thing's still three shots to the body i mean like i get it they had a zombies camp 
ammo grind and they had to like, you know, balance all the weapons so they were usable. And certain weapons weren't like obscenely harder or easier than other ones. But bro, there is no reason that this should be doing as much damage as it's doing. I don't know, like also don't get me wrong. I do, I do like the zombies camo grinds. Like I liked it in Cold War. Vanguard, not gonna talk about that dog shit ass green tiger camo. But then I actually did not mind it in Modern Warfare Z. But like I hope for Gulf War, like don't get me wrong. I like loading in with a custom class, but can we like leave that for survival and then like put the Easter eggs in like a classic mode and or just have a classic mode? Pretty please, for the love of God. Can we just bring back normal zombies, I beg? But we're on round 14, we have one more round. We should be able to breeze through this round. We have double pack a bunch, 1911. We can literally two shot zombies to the body, bro. There's our next Megaton and he's already dead. I literally did not hit a single fucking headshot there. And he basically insta died and the other ones are dead. This is it, like, don't get me wrong. I think Mustang and Sally's and like anything along those lines are like very, very good. This is absurd. Like this is actually unbelievably good. And we got an insta kill. It's just so overkill. We do not need this. I think we're on the last couple zombies though. I think there should be one like meander. Yep, there we go. There he is. So after I kill this zombie, oh, there's another one. So after I kill this zombie, this will be the end of Cold War and this will be the end of the video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I upload zombies content like this all the time. But if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh,